How's it going everyone? Back with some more abs and saga content. Um, I feel like this intro is going to be short and sweet. There's nothing really more to say. Just kind of sticking with the same 75. Um, last stream went 3-2. Kind of just getting in the back of the thick of things. Um, had a little bit of rust last stream. So hopefully we can shake that off and kind of start fresh. And hopefully we can uh, continue the positive win rate here. Um, for those who are watching this on YouTube and are kind of new to this deck, you can check out the rest of my videos where I do have a more elaborate um, deck tech. Um, but this is where uh, the sideboard, again, if you wanted to play this deck, you know, your local meta or whatever, the sideboard is definitely obviously something you definitely want to uh, re-elaborate. Um, but I can delve into it a little bit more, like the Lingering Souls is for like Hammer and of course, all the grindy mid-range decks, Turex for um, all the white base control decks that are like solitude heavy. So like this not being able to get solituded and being able to, you know, essentially three for one, our opponent is going to be pretty clutch. Turek has been very, very good. Alan Liberator for like Hammer and, you know, Urza Saga decks, just being able to recur it and it being able to attack is a big deal. Torpor against like Fury, Solitude, um, Omnath decks. Collective Brutality is going to be decent against, like, Burn. Um, and just being able to nab, you know, random creatures. Just, it's, it gets control. It's, like, gotten a lot better. Um, strictly because it can kill Solitude. If you're against a blue or control deck that doesn't play Solitude, I don't like Collective Brutality. But just being able to have multiple modes, being able to duress and uh, kill Solitude makes it slightly more valuable. And historically, I haven't really liked Brutality. I have been not liked Brutality because... It's really only good against Burn, but now since it has a little more crossover, I've liked it more. Um, so the same 75, I've trophied a couple times and uh, placed in the Mana Traders event. Um, so this deck's been performing for me, so hopefully we can um, keep the mint going. Split attention till Evan's Yogg League is done. I vote plus him for Voidwalker. Are, are you advocating for another copy of Voidwalker, or are you saying Voidwalker is just um, a card you like? Because I don't, I don't know if there's room for a third Voidwalker, but I do agree that Voidwalker is very, very good in the deck. Um, and then there's all cards like Urborg to support the double black through the Urza Saga. Also supports Tarak as well. Um, yeah, I, I actually watched a little bit of Evan's stream before I went live. I only got to watch the tail end of a match where um, his opponent uh, had a Ragavan they inspired and let him hit him and they got a Yog Moth into play and didn't matter, which is kind of cool. I played a little bit of Yog Moth. Um, it's definitely fun. The deck's definitely powerful. Uh, not a cup of tea, but like I love like Stego Geist and um, Young Wolf. Like those two are like some of my favorite cards just in the game. Uh, so I was like, hey, I'll try it out because I like the cards, but the playstyle is definitely not my wheelhouse. Hand is obviously no land, so he's in Mulligan. On the draw, too. Um, I might just bottom the Sentinel here. I don't know how good a second one is. Let's bottom the second Sentinel. They go... Red one drop, we can just prismatic ending. Um, Soul Scar Rage, interesting. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to just Esper Sentinel here then. If this is a monkey or a Darcy, I might have just let it go. But because it's Soul Scar Rage, I don't mind taking a hit here. Again, this is a game where, like, if we're on the play, it'd be a lot better, but it is what it is. Okay. Triple threat is interesting. Okay. Hmm. They're gonna let me draw Bobble. So, how much damage are you taking? To 10. Push. I 
I guess we can bobble. They could draw another swift spear. Hmm. So if we prismatic ending a soul scar mage, we could theoretically push a swift spear and then we just take two. If they have bolt, we take five. Yeah, I think I like dealing with the board a little bit here. Well, we'll deal with this guy. Okay, that was a really good draw because that means we can cast Tarmogoyf. So we know they have Swift Spear. Cracking this. So we're going to play Swift Spear here. Sure. So we'll, we won't block. Uh, if they have growth, that's 2 plus 5. 8. I think we have to block here. I don't think we can go to 1. We're very close to stabilizing. Another goif is fine. So we're gonna forest, play goif, and pass. Consider. I'm gonna turn off auto yields to bluff that we have a push or something. Soul Scar Bridge, sure. So now we can just Kai's Guile. They attack. They have a bolt that were really bad. Because then our Goyf dies. Like they can bolt the Goyf. Hey, Grace. Thanks for the sub, buddy. Appreciate it. Hope we're doing well. Thank you for the sub. 10 months of music. It's like, <laughs> it definitely does feel like I've streamed a lot longer. Like, definitely since you've been like tuning in such too, right? I think I want the life gain. Hmm. Okay, that's a good sign for us. I wanted to bobble on their upkeep, but hmm. We can sack and gain for I think. Especially since we have the back of Tarmogoyf. I don't mind blocking. We do it this way here so then they don't like pump the other one. So if they have a bolt here, oh, sure. Interesting. Oh, that's decent. They're gonna draw a bobble. Sentinel. Well, this Goyf being a 5-6 is super relevant. So we'll play Goyf, play Sentinel, pass. So they are not going to draw the bobble here. So Bolt isn't lethal.
Yeah, that Kai's Gal gaining for life was pretty clutch. Because we'd be exactly dead to this Merktide Regent. So that means they just don't have... Oh, that's... <laughs> That was really a good draw. <laughs> really good draw. So we're gets like blue red Merktind with like uh Soul Scar Mage, which is interesting. Is it like Soul Scar Mage instead of like Ragavan? Oh, I guess they're on Swiss Spear. So this seems like it's like old school blue red prowess with like um uh old school blue red prowess with like Swiss spears and uh and soul scar mages instead of monkeys and Darcy's. Guess we go like souls and vindicate. Just so this is like an answer to Murktide. I don't think Withering Clement does anything here. Especially because now they're they have prowess creatures, they have less one toughness creatures compared to like Darcy and Monkey, or it can kill something. Um, yeah, I think we really want the explosives because they have one drops and then, um, and then Merc Tide. So we kind of want to keep the board clear. And against like Prowess, I think we do board out the bobs. Against like Blue Red Merc Tide, like that's not Prowess heavy. Um, I like keeping in bobs but it gets like prowess matchups i don't like keeping in bobs love it that's a big reason why um but they're a lot more like aggro based than like mid-range based not that they can't grind but i feel like our life total is a bit more of a liability against prowess matchups than like blue red like more of a mid-range shell Okay, um, we'll keep this. Just trying to figure out my mana situation. Okay, so they do have Darcy. That was really a good draw. Because now we can try to find a removal spell that does not count. So we'll get a swamp. Kind of trying to get a blood moon here. Expressive iteration. I think we'll nab the Soul Scar Mage here. And then next turn we can snap the uh, Expressive Iteration next turn. If they, especially if they don't draw land. Or we can just double Inquisition now too. It's not bad. Like getting the Expressive Iteration and the Mana Morphos isn't bad. I can also play Saga next turn too. So we'll Inquisition first, and then see if I want to cast a second edition that turn. And if not, I'll just play Saga. Oh, they just... They put the bobble in the graveyard. Sure. So they have Express Radiation, Manamorphose, etc. So again, yeah, I'll Inquisition here. Probably take the expressive reiteration. Lightning bolt. I think I like taking the iteration and then pushing the Darcy here. And then next turn, Inquisition. Spellbomb play Saga. So take iteration. And then we'll push this so I don't get the trigger. We get punished if we draw a Tarmogoyf the way we played our Concealed Courtyard, but if we could also just... Oh, okay. We could also just take the Bolt. Uh, with the, uh... 
Inquisition. I, I, we could also just take Lava Dart here and then just sweep up the whole graveyard. So then they, they theoretically get less. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that they just didn't want to play against Saga. Got it. Cool. Off to a good start. Off to a good start. Getting paired quickly, too. I love to see it. Just get this league over with so I can go to bed. <laughs> get this league over with so I can go to bed. Hold on, be right back. Wish I was on the play here. Obviously, going Esper Sentinel or Inquisition is nice. Well, especially when they do that. That's not what I want to see. So I think we're going to have to Inquisition here. Again, we were really strong on the play because we could have led on Sentinel and then we could have just Inquisitioned them. But so it is. It is what it is. Sorry, getting acclimated in the new office here. Um, they're tanking our upkeep. Yeah, soul inquisition. Take the scrying. What the hell? Interesting. Their hand is awkward. Surgical extraction warping last, so it's Etron. So warping will more or less. So we can't play Bob. We could play Void Walker here. Let's do that. So that way if we draw a Thoughtseize, if they happen to draw like an Ulamog or something. Interesting that they're cracking that now. Like here, so if they didn't draw a Tron land and we draw a Thoughtseize, then our ceiling is just so high. So I like playing it first. So their hand is Surgical Extraction, Warping Wheel, Yavi Maya. Surgical Extraction main deck is an interesting call. Damn it. So they have Tron. I really hope to draw Thoughtseize next turn. Bob. Oh. Hope they don't have payoff. I guess we're not the crack yet. Yeah, I, th I think I like not cracking yet. And then if they have like a relic or something, we can keep the fetch. So they have eight mana. Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, we need that Thoughtseize. We need that Thoughtseize. Hey, how's it going, Andrew? Thanks for sub, buddy. Appreciate it. 26 months, man. It's a long-ass time. Really appreciate it, buddy. 
Uh, four of these guys. I don't think we want the hole. We definitely want the... We don't know if they're Etra or not. Like, search of extraction man, so weird. Oh my gosh, back-to-back -back sucks. Lonely Isotope. Thank you for the sub, too. Appreciate both of y'all. Means a lot. What in the Tomokachi part is up with your voice? Are you Omicroning? What do you mean? I mean, I'm really tired, if that's what's <laughs> happening. Like, I've been, like, driving, like, up and down the bay to prepare for moving. Uh, so I'm just, like, really, really tired. It's not like I'm dying. Is it the mic? Is this better? I also have the, the heater going. I don't know if the heater is messing my voice up, too. Maybe I need to face it away. Like, I wonder if that's better. Um, Sentinels are just like such a shitty clock. Oh, we want dead big spear. What am I doing? Come on, Kev. Keep your head in the game. Maybe go like this. Or to two Sentinels. Brutality, brutality. Yeah, let's do that. New apartment to it. It's it's actually um, a duplex, so we kind of upgraded in a sense. Uh, but it's nice. It's a little chillier. Um, but it's going well. Uh, we spent all the last two weeks moving, which I wasn't able to really stream past couple of time, um, couple of days. But it's been going good. Uh, we're almost done unpacking, so I'm like, and I'm have this. I, I'm working a little bit tomorrow, um, but then I'm taking the rest of the two weeks off so I can kind of just chill. Um, I think we just play Urborg. So, uh, Sylvan Scrying, okay. I'll just bobble that end a turn. We'll say we draw here, if we draw Fetch, and then if we draw Fetch, um, I guess it doesn't matter. Saga's interesting draw. Hey. So we know they're going to draw scry. Oh, they have scrying in hand. So we'll... Planet of Angel. Interesting. That's spicy. We're going to play Saga here, though. Pass. Next turn, we might have to play Damping Spear. Depends on what they... Um, if they play power plant, we're not gonna, we're not gonna play damping spear. We're gonna make a construct. Hey, thanks for the cheer, uh, last god. 100 biddies. Thanks, Illumina Isotope. Really appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate the support. Okay, really appreciate it, Lonely. Uh, uh, Last God. I keep saying Lonely, so sorry. Last God, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Um, I guess we can um, bobble trick ourselves here. We don't want the fetch land, so we'll f fetch a temple guard in here. But Last God, I, I appreciate you tuning in right away, too. It's always fun, like, starting the countdown, getting everything ready, and kind of, I like, peek and see who's in the chat, so I appreciate you joining right away. That's an interesting draw. So they play tower. Expedition map. Okay. So we could get Damping Spear down too. So we'll go like this. The drum was actually a really bad natural draw because now we can't activate this saga here. Because we, I wanted to get the drum and get the extra mana. Oh my goodness, well, that's dope. Thank you for the sub as well. Or oh, sorry, biddies. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. <laughs> Thanks so much. 
hype train. Appreciate all the support, y'all. Seriously, this is awesome. Um, I think I have to play the Demic Spear, so I'll float the mana here. Um, yeah, because I don't have enough mana to activate this. I really wish I didn't draw the String Leaf Drum, because that just means that uh, we can't double spell here. <laughs> we can put the Needle Expedition map. That's actually really funny. And that actually might be the correct play. Whoop. Uh, do we want to get Saga going or do we want to play Debbie Spear? Or, or play the Courtyard? I think we want to get Urza Saga going. So we'll do this. We'll sequence this correctly. Um, we'll do this first. And then the Damping Spear after. And then we'll attack for five. And then we have the Vindicate. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sweet. Again, uh, Last God and Lonely Isotope. Thank you both for the biddies. Really appreciate it. I just got my bobs in the mail. Only took a month. Yeah. I actually bought uh, a Springleaf drum from Channel Fireball. And I waited like a month. And like I didn't get anything. I messaged your seller. didn't get anything. Messaged Channel Fireball. And they're like, let's like, I'll, like they're like, oh, we'll message them and get back to you. And then like three days later, they're like, yeah, we don't know what happened to the sellers. <laughs> so they like refunded me. Picked up a set of sagas today after not playing for almost three years. They were somehow all I needed. Uh, if you're talking about like from like Abzan or just any deck in general and upgrading it, that's interesting. I guess Abzan, I mean, there's like Sentinels and some slight upgrades. Like maybe you never you'd have a Shadow Spear or a Drum and stuff. But like Bobbles we had since Abzan Traverse. But like what deck were you playing, Constant Flaw? Because three is a long time to only need sagas. That's interesting. Easy win. I don't know about that last card. Four so I had one shadows for here, 55 lands here, exactly. I just got my full text walkers. Nice. You gotta, I gotta, I don't, you gotta, I gotta see it. You gotta post a link. I don't know if you have a photo or somewhere. Oh my goodness. Last God with the resub. Four months. Really appreciate it. Man, this hype. Level one complete. That's awesome. Appreciate the support, y'all. Seriously, this is awesome. Welcome me back to the stream life here as I try to get back into things. Got the break legacy mostly by used to play Junshin. Nice. Junshin also, I feel like that's also an archetype that's not explored in modern. I, you know, there's like Jun Saga, but I feel like there's a way to squeeze in Shadow in there too. People are just not exploring modern enough. There's really brutality better than something else. Are you talking about in this matchup or just in general, Pontes? I think we're just going to submit this. It's like they're just on regular Tron, so... Um, the the duress ability is just slow on the draw. The drain ability is kind of shitty, and then um, nothing dies to the minus two, minus two. So I think it's a mulligan. Uh, they're going to five. I think we'll keep this and then on the guile yeah we'll bottom the guile I really really wish this was a pending or a hole so if they go like turn one star or spear or map we can take it but on the draw it's like awkward alas though bobble so I think we'll bobble trick ourselves, lingering souls. I think we'll fetch that away. We kind of need exactly dabbing spear, I think. So I hope they take a scrying here. Oh my gosh, the hand is so bad. What's gonna happen is they're gonna naturally draw a power plant, and then I'm gonna be very sad. I 
Okay, we can decay that, so that's actually pretty good. Like, that's fine, actually. So, their hand is Surgical Extraction to Unknown. Next turn, we can go... Um... Damn. Hmm. <laughs> Surgicaling my decay. <laughs> they don't want this to get, uh... <laughs> How's it going, Andrea? That's so funny. I only have one, by the way. Pending. Pull. Pending. Hole. Damn it. Um, well, I guess this Inquisition is kind of useless. Otherwise, they might have a Scrying in hand. Oh. Okay, so they're kind of far from that. <sighs> Pet the doggo. I don't know my my redemption isn't working. Or like the uh I guess it's not overcanning me. Uh she's down here. I could show her in a second. Okay. Let's bubble trick ourselves. Inquisition. We kind of don't want an Inquisition, right? Yeah, I don't think we want Inquisition here. So I think we're going to get a Triome. I could show her in a second. This game's going to be over <laughs> in like a couple turns. Oh man, so they have five mana after they Karn. They could also like Karn and get Needle. Hmm. <laughs> choo choo. Appreciate that, Train, y'all. Thoughtseize was a little slow, though. I guess I could show her now while my opponent is. Can't F6, though. Are they going to let me draw a card here? Yes, they are. No, they're not. Okay. So they have five mana here. Sundering Titan. So they're not going to cast up this turn. Interesting. Make a construct here. Hmm. So we could thoughts use a Sundering Titan. In fact, we kind of have to start see the Centering Titan. Hunt's like taking forever. Oh, she's. Okay, that doesn't really impact us. Make a Saga token here. Four, eight, nine. We could, in theory, just needle a Karn and then present lethal. So, 4, 5, 10, 11, 6. So, the constructs will be 5, 5s. 
attack Karn. So they go to 11. They still present lethal. Yeah. They still present lethal. So maybe I needle something else. Hmm. I could like needle name like Oblivion Stone. Oh my God, misplaced ginger. Thank you for the raid and congratulations on your Success in the trophy race. Hope you got another trophy today. Appreciate all for tuning and hanging out. I kind of want to like pithing the old name of Oblivious Stone here. Attack Karn down. Constructs are five fives. They go to eleven, and we have lethal. I think I'm gonna take that line. Because they probably have four Oblivion Stones, right? Well, Thoughtseize them. Um, Ancient Stirrings, cool. We'll take the Sundering Titan. Play the Bobble. So, this will attack Karn. Let's attack our opponent. We could Bobble, but... I don't think we will. I think we want the 11 power in play. We could have needled them, maybe presented lethal. I get, maybe I should have needled the Karn. Maybe I'm a little bit more conservative. Because he could have gone to 11, we'd have lethal. I think it's close. Okay, so they have nothing. So nine. They could go to seven. Maybe we do bobble here. Warping wheel. Okay, so it's game over. Yeah, I think this is a game over here. I think I just felt like they had way more outs to the Oblivion Stone. And just like cutting that off. Then again, they might have like another Karn and then like more bridges, but. It's close. But everyone, welcome. From Miss Place Ginger Stream, my name's K.O. Diamonds, and I play abs and midrange. Um, kind of brewed up an abs and saga list about a month or two ago, and kind of been jamming it ever since. And but had some some success, a couple of trophies, um, placed in the managers event. Um, have don't really have time to play big events like challenges or anything, so I can't really like put the results out there too much. But it's actually been a lot of fun. Uh, not what we draw like that, though. <laughs> so attack. So this Lurus is lethal because they can... If they warp with the Sentinel, these are 3-3s. Three but then we can lower spring a ball back in the back of the four fours. Shiva nine one one, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. I guess they could warping wheel make a one one and block this, and they go to one.
So let them make a 1-1 on block here. Fun is kind of taking the time. So then here, um, Ugin isn't an out because these are colorless. Oblivion Stone isn't out, obviously. They get Karn plus Bridge. So we have to start digging for things. Wormco could also be an out. Wormco would be very, very annoying. They could also, like, draw a green source. Could be any of the eggs and then stirrings. So they have a lot of outs here. So I kind of did get punished for not needling the Karn. Wish we had a removal spell for that, <laughs> obviously. Cool. The suspense as we just draw <laughs> mono lands. Cool. Off to a good start, Twino. Being Sean feels good. <laughs> exactly. Hi, Glendillion. Appreciate you tuning in. <laughs> Being Sean is definitely nice. <laughs> All the redemptions. Oh, I forgot to show my dog. She's like out here. All right, I don't know if he can. Yeah, the tilt the laptop. Oh God. Oh God, there you go. There she is right there. She's sleeping, so I'll pick her up when she is uh up or something. We're on the play against Luris. So Esper, double Esper Sentinel into um, like Esper Sentinel into Esper Sentinel Inquisition is kind of gross. <laughs> kind of gross. They're on hammer, it's less gross. But we still have the Inquisition if they have like a Stoneforge Mystic or um Pierce the Paladin. Just play a creature here. Wow. That is very good for us. <laughs> like sure. That's crazy. How's it boat guy? Oh crap. I wanted to play Overgrown Tomb first. Damn it. Oh well. So I'll take the shadow. At that point, since you know they're gonna thought seize my timer going away. I guess we just get basic planes. Minimize the damage we're gonna take. Yeah, so they're gonna thought seize, take by Tomber Boy. Watery Grave. They're gonna cast the. This one. Yeah. Bobble. Wow, they are just letting me draw the cards. That's kind of absurd. You know, thought seize my bobble? That's kind of wild. You're thinking of thoughts is like bobble. Hmm. 
We just... <laughs> We're going to bobble trick ourselves now. We don't want the drum. We're going to bank on them not... Uh, draw a, uh, another discard spell. That's a good draw. Thanks for the cards to play. Exactly, Italian. Exactly. Pluto Delta. Are they going to put Laris in their hand now? That's the real question. We know they have the Blitz and Mara, so they can go Lurse, bring back a guy. I'm okay with just going Lurse, bring back Sentinel. You could go Lurse, bring back Bobble, but I kind of like Sentinel. So then, like, if they cast any removal spell, they have to do that versus our Lurse. We can't Luris plus Bob. We don't have enough mana. I kind of like Luris plus uh, Sentinel. So then, like, our Sentinel, our, our Luris is like, can go ham, and then their, uh, their Luris can't. Do we attack? I think so. We don't really need Revolt because we know we can um, bring the bubble back. So that's not a big worry. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We can also just like ignore the lures too. We can also just ignore the lures. Cause I have like nothing in the graveyard. So we could just go like double goif. But then like they're like tapped out. But then if we have like an overwhelming Borsa, they can't exactly attack with a shadow either. I kind of like just going Tarmogoyf, Dark Confidant. I guess we don't need the card bands. Do we just go Double Goyf? We'll play the land for sure. We're not going to attack either way, so we'll play this. This is a tough call. Like the way the way we get punished by not killing the Lurus now is if they draw a bobble, exactly. Or like a seal of fire. I 
I think we just got double coif. Scalding Tarn, another shadow. So their hand is Bloodstained Mire Unknown. Springleaf Drum. Bob. Can't exactly attack either. So their hand is blanks, has to be. Hmm. Okay. It's so a two unknown. So I mean, this is the card that they drew. Unholy Heat, the lures. Okay. <laughs> Coming deeper, Battle Rage. Yeah. For real. And we're still drawing. We're still gonna draw ball cards off ball. So th we we're assuming this only heat was drawn because otherwise they would have killed the lures a long time ago. They didn't do anything the turn pre the pr turn prior. So we draw a removal spell. I think we can safe to attack. That's not a removal spell. So I think it's safe to equip here. They have a removal spell for the Tarmogoyf here. Kind of dead. I don't think they have anything. So I think we go like attack with Goyf, Bob, and Sentinel. Or so Goif, Goif, and then and Sentinel. Like this. No, I think we just go for it all here actually, because the block here, this is already lethal. Block. Block. I think we attack with one. How do I get blown out? Oh, of course, they have fucking a fetch land. I'm such an idiot. I am an idiot. I am an idiot. I, I forgot about the fetch land in play. I'm just so dumb. Let's equip this Shadow Spear. Let's try to mitigate this. Who's the idiot? This guy. Oh my gosh. So we're going to ball a trick, though. Sentinel is not a good one. Doesn't matter. Can't exactly attack now either. Not exactly attack again either. Let's 
crazy how two shadows can hold the fort down. So they can escape Crooks, though. Do they have a basic, though? They might not have a basic. Yeah, they need a basic. That's funny. Oh my gosh, we just can't draw removal spell to clear the way. We can discard the Thoughtseize, though. So that we don't take three. We're like very close to turning the corner, but like we're like not there yet. Kind of knows we have thought season hand because we revealed it to the Bob. Dressed out would be really annoying because they would it would kill the saga. You could also just be holding dressed down for Tarmogoyf. So maybe there's an argument to like Thoughtseize there. So we can get a spell ball in play. Plays around like Colgon's command. One, two, three. They block, block. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Oh, do we want to just die to dress down? One, two. So we'll block, block. If they, if they have dress down, then we just get royally fucked. I guess we're gonna equip Shadow Spear to a Goyf. And then they go to three. I think we wait one more. I think we can just wait, honestly, and then just swing in with the Dothy Voidwalkers. Gotta watch out for my time. <laughs> Four mana for the bauble is funny. I 
Wow. Okay. I think attack. Bobbling me. Vintage level taxes, yeah. <laughs> exactly, thing, exactly. Okay, so Void Walk will push Shadow Spear is lethal now. Hmm. They have the TBR, I don't think we're going to sacrifice the whole board to it, so... We could double block like this. Patience. Practice patience. <laughs> Practice the patience here. People are like, why aren't you attacking? Why aren't you attacking? It's just... Gotta practice patience. Pra playing around dress down, playing around removal spells, like... Just have to. I'm assuming they're on monkey? I think we can board out the Thought Seizes. Board out a Wither Moon Command. I think we can just cut the Vindicates because it's just so mana inefficient. Yeah, they're very likely a monkey, but I don't think we still, I still don't think we want the Wither Moon Commands. Okay, you gotta play a little bit faster. Not get distracted by chat or my dog. <laughs> They only can make a mistake. Yeah, we well that was also our um our blue red prowess opponent too. Like it's hard to tell if they have monkey or not. They didn't see it games. I mean they're a more prowess shell. But Okay, I guess we have to keep that. I think we can just bomb the drum. Uh I have not. Saga. I think we're gonna bubble trick ourselves. I think the problem though, Jace to the face, um, is the fact that uh, the Urza Saga package and the Stoneforce Mystic packages both respectively require a ton of slots in the deck. Like Saga is um you know three slots plus four lands so far as mystic is four creatures and then three equipment uh so that's like so many slots in the deck it just gets kind of awkward and both cards are just so man intensive too right so yeah double shadow interesting interesting swamp we're gonna just do that. How's it going, Leo? <laughs> we didn't need double land deck. That is not what we needed. That's not what we needed. Hopefully they draw a discard spell. <laughs> Hopefully they draw a discard spell. God damn it. So, I mean, they're also like pretty out of resources. If they draw, if we draw a rule spell for the Death Shadow, we're okay. I'm gonna bubble trick myself. 
Maybe we draw a push or to K, never mind. I'm gonna fetch, get a swamp here. Uh, if we draw a decay or a push, that'd be great. Let me hold this on upkeep, Inquisition. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those things, Jace, to the face, is the, um, it just, it just takes up a ton of slots. Like, you just don't have that much room, is the point. They didn't put Luris in hand, so we need a rule spell here. Thank you. So this might get drowned, and then we can push the shadow. It sucks that we don't have... Um, we can't get a shadow a saga going, obviously, with the moon in play, but... Finish 20 pages, respawned. Nice. That sounds... <laughs> Sounds hard, but I'm glad that's over with. I can take a break, play Valorant, watch you lose against us. <laughs> I guess that's a bad heavy compliment. I guess I'll take that though. I think I'm gonna um, upkeep push the shadow. Because if they have another drown, they can cast it anyway. Um, but if they do, then I can, I'd rather just use have them use their mana. They could put Luris in hand. Uh, that'd be really bad for us. We boarded in track, right? We did not board in track. <laughs> Speaking of. <laughs> Speaking of. Nice, we discarded the, the saga. Hmm. Like, are the green card doing it? Tarmogoyf is a quick clock. Uh, you could argue to cut the green. Because green is definitely a splash color. For sure, Jace to the face. Um. So you're not wrong there. You could probably cut the green, but I still don't think cutting the green is going to open up enough slots to run both. Okay, they're holding up Drown here, right? But we kind of have to... Um, enter this track here. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Same thought process, we'll upkeep, push the Turak. Post graph, focus on here. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's just game. It's a trap. <laughs> Yeah, my, my, my boss wants me to, it was encouraging me to get my master's too. And I'm like, I don't want to do more school than I have to. <laughs> if you're playing green, cutting green, just play the better black reds. So for just saga deck hammer time. I don't know if that's true, though. Ian. I feel like it's just different play styles, right? Like hammer time is, you know... Like, how you play Hammer Time and how you play, you know, a Thought Sees Stoneforge Mystic deck are just very different feels, right? So, um, I, I say that because a lot of people are like, oh, I'm an Esper Sentinel Urza Saga deck. I should just be playing Hammer. And it's like, the, the, the play style are just so different, right? Like, in Black White, you know, you could play Dark Confidant, uh, Voidwalker. Um, you can main deck, like, s Spell Bombs. Like, it's just... I feel like there's, I, I feel like when a deck shares like, you know, two cards, I don't think it's enough to 
say that one's just going to be the better deck or just just play the other deck and it's like if you play a different style or like a prefer a different style i think that's um where i think i disagree and that's probably i, I think speaking just based on personal experience because like when i'm playing this deck I, I get so many like people that go like why aren't you just playing you know hammer like you're playing Esther Sentinel or Zasaka, and it's just, it's a different, you know, it's, it's, the, the, the way the deck plays out is just different, right? Um, so, Inquisition into Dark Confidant is when our opponent Morgan to six cannot complain. Hopefully, we can go Bob and into a, or Inquisition into a Bob that's unmolested. Huh. Guess I'll take the Inquisition. It's awkward. Tarbogov would be the best draw here. This is a threat that doesn't get that doesn't die. They like the card that they that they have on top. That's decent. I might just discard the bobble or the the Urborg. Yeah. And if you... That's another thing. That's a good thing to point out, Jace, to the face, is if you're playing the Snowforce Mystic package, you can't run Lurus as a companion. Um, you can maybe make, like, a Yorion build. Um, which might be cool. Because I played Yorion as an before. Uh, excuse me, for Modern Horizons 2, so... Cool. I'm gonna like, leave this marsh flats uncracked. Um, in case I draw a bobble and I can bobble trick myself, but that is not what happened. Let's see if they drew another removal spell. How I consider playing Logmoth? No, I I played a couple leagues with it, and it's Delta. I played a couple leagues with it, and it's I I, I like I I said at the beginning of the stream like I like the cards in it, but I don't like the play style, and that's where I'm coming from like with the hammer, versus like black white potentially Urzov Saga right is I think they're just potentially different. They're just very different decks. They're just gonna crux it here. Sure. How about a spell bomb or a soul guy lantern? I'm gonna fetch a triumph here. Come on, Bobby. Hit me, dealer. <laughs> Kai's gal. Egg little graveyard, make a one one. Is Life from the Loma card that you tried this spell seems part of a saga? Um, I have not tried it in practice, but I don't like it on paper because it just doesn't do anything. If that makes sense, right? Oh my god. Give me something better, Bob.
I mean, I wonder if they have just like a bunch of like Alpine moons or something in hand. Actually, wonder. But like, the card that you're thinking of, Costa, that I have instead, I have Witherbloom Command instead of Cost, uh, instead of uh, Life from the Loam, because at least this card has text, like. That's a fine exchange. That's a really good draw. That can go Luris, Bob. <laughs> so we're right about the uh, about the Alpine Moon, partially. I kind of want to just take the dress down here. Because they could theoretically, like, dress down into, like, removal spell. Versus this Luris isn't really doing anything in media right now. It's so weird not taking the Luris in this spot, but I think it's correct. Huckle man, absolutely. It's, yeah, it's just, it, it does more, it just does more, right? Like, it doesn't just, you know, create value with fetches or a saga of the guard, right? Robo spell, please. Hit me, dealer. That does not count as a robo spell. So... I can attack with both of these. It's kind of free. So we'll upkeep bubble them. <laughs> nice thoughts, please. So they could bring back dress down, but it doesn't really do anything. Okay. Oh, sure. <laughs> you got it. Just let me draw cards upon it. I get admire there aren't that many good lands. Command is really good, but playing it. Makes... Yeah, it's like it. It really doesn't do anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're gonna draw so many cards. Hit me, dealer. That does not count. So the Torak can just block. So I think we just like play our hand. Attack with the flyer. I guess attack with the bob forces them to block. I guess it doesn't force them to block, but. It's 
So they can on their end step dress down, but then we just draw a bunch of cards. But I don't have anything in play though. Like this doesn't do anything. Like they should have done this on their end step, I think. This really doesn't do anything. Like the way they timed it. But you're right. Like they that's how they do that's how they potentially get out of this game, but we're just so ahead at now. That's why they just drew up two cards off Sentinel. It's kind of crazy. Okay. Then the Lyris doesn't even have lifelink on their turn. So, drum. Hmm. Just have it all. Three and oh, baby. Three and oh. Bob plus Esper Sentinel. What a combo, right? <laughs> exactly, Thilium. Exactly. Exactly. Why did I decide to play Valor? I'm too old for that game. It's just, I, that's why I don't play those shooter games. I'm too old, too. There's the Goyce after the Flood. Yeah. Kind of cool to win the match, even after all the Flood and stuff, and drawing all those cards. What if I should use the bathroom real quick? Mm. I'll, let me use the restroom real quick. Just give me like a minute. Getting old. I'll be right back. Cool. Three to go. Three and oh. Again, continuing the positive win rate this stream with this deck. This deck's so much fun. Esper Sentinel plus Dark Hophalon is just such a good combo. Gets like these Grixis decks. 
I don't know how the deck beats turn one Sentinel into turn two Bob. Cool. Against the Luris deck too. Yeah, let's go Temple Garden. Since we have the Urborg here. And then if we want to go Void Walker, we can. Flooded Strand, interesting. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Uh, card's so good. Oh, we're against Hammer. Got it. Now they have their own Sentinel. Interesting. I think we have the Inquisition here. And then not, and then the pay for the one. Sentinel, Stoneforge, Stop the Foundry. Interesting. So they have the, they technically have the combo either way. I wonder what's in their deck. Like Eekbot Nesta, so do they have Hammer or do they have uh, Sword of the Meek? I think we kind of have to take the Thopter their Foundry just because it's just the value deck. Or the value card. Like them sacking a drum is actually kind of bad for us. You're also like very likely to just draw or remove the spell as well for the Stillforge of a Stick. We have like whole pending. So I think we just take the Foundry. Don't want to attack. I guess they also can't cast. I don't know. I guess they could. They have the drums. They can cast the Thopter Foundry. But like having Urbor or Voidwalker is kind of cool because it does stop the combo. But I just like worried if they have like Stoneforge plus. Um, Plus, like, uh, like if they have like a cauldron here, then we're like screwed, right? Oh, they have hammer. Oh, interesting. Take that. <laughs> so yeah, we both have. Double Sentinels. Damn it. Damn it to hell. Ah, none of these are spot rule spells. Damn it to hell. So now they equip the Sentinel. It's gross. So their Hammer deck Splashy Thopter Foundry. Interesting. Oops. Block here. I think we're dead. Never mind. We need to have two spot removal spells, unfortunately. Um, the thing in their exile. Because we need to like kill this paladin, otherwise they just re-equip this, right?
So we let them draw. Push this. Oops. Now uh, we'll just play out our creatures, non creature spells. Actually, have the thought I guess. Oh, thank goodness, I guess we thought seized them. <laughs> um, well, this White Walker ain't, attack, uh, ain't blocking. So. Is this Harlan Fear? Yeah. It's kind of, I haven't seen this deck before either. It's kind of interesting. So another spot rule will spell and we're like, okay. Like we draw a pending or a um unfortunate. $150 of the collector bruises. You open anything good? Hopefully you got some good hits out of that one. Uh Thopter Foutry. So they make they make blue, right? Thopters. They make blue. So the Torax aren't that great. Wither Wing Command seems like it has a lot of text in it, though. $40 value in it? No! <laughs> no! White Walker seemed bad. Kai's Guile doesn't seem great. Probably worth the Thought Seizes. I think we can brought the Sentinels, too. Actually, we want the Void Walkers because of the combo. So we just only been worn Brutality. Yeah, let's try that. It could have, but we're, we, we're not winning a game where they just draw like 3,000 cards like that. Like, there's just no way. And exactly, they have Luris too. So you're not wrong. Like, we could have bought another turn, but there's also time equity involved. <laughs> but you're right. You're, you're right that I could have bought another turn, but I don't think it would have surmounted anything. Do I take that drum here? Do I take the drum? I think I kind of want to take the drum here. Hope they don't hit a land drop. They go Sentinel probably here. They could go like land aid hammer, which would be annoying. I wish we had instant speed removal because we could have gone liberator and then. And then like passed 
like my next turn, flip this, and then like kill something. I think we're gonna go for the upside play here. So Liberia can also block too. So they drew a drum. Okay, that's exactly what we needed. We're hoping to flip this thing. And flip it when it comes back. Then you need to have two one mana spells or draw a land. And uh I guess I could go A plus Paladin, so. It's uh, it's likely that they'll flip this'll flip back, unfortunately. Sure. Push this. Pay for this. And then when we attack, we'll kill the drum. Oh. I think we had just attack, kill the drum, play Bob. Uh, I don't want the I don't want to I don't want them to draw a card off the Sentinel Costa, which is why I'm gonna do this play. They could double hammer me. I think it's worth blocking here. If they hammer, I go to th three. I think I have to do this. Okay. Oh, I wanted to save it. That's why. But you're right. I could. That was a throw line too. Oh. So they have Thopter Foundry in hand. We could Wither Bloom Command, destroy the hammer, 
kill the sentinel. They draw a card. I wanted to destroy the dog, basically I had to vindicate anyway. Do this, see what they draw. They could put Luris in play. So I think I just needle name Thopter Foundry already. Call it a day. Bob. So they'll put Luris in hand, which is fine. That's cool. Play the Bob, I think. Play Shaft Spear. So they did another land to go, which they do. Okay. So they could bring back Sentinel or Hammer. Oh, they could hammer the Ornithopters. Gross. All right, Bobby, don't kill me. Go to four. So they could hammer the Lurus and go from there. So I guess I have to vindicate the Ornithopter. And then pass. They just bring Paladin back, but then they need one more artifact. I guess they have the Thopter Foundry, huh? Damn it. Yeah, they also have Saga too. Oh, they have the, <laughs> they have the hammer already. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I could have um, destroyed the drum. No, I think I think that play really cost me the game. I think you're right, Costa. I think you're one hundred percent correct. I mean, we knew they had the Thopter Foundry in hand, though, which is why I played it. But I think Costa's line, I think, was correct, though. I mean, we could just make bodies, but it doesn't really amount to anything. We need our rules for this Lurus right here. That does not count. Yeah, I think I think I was trying to save the the Witherbloom command. I think one a turn two, more like an extra turn than I needed to, unfortunately. GG. Yeah, I, I I think you're right, Costa. Like the turn. I'm gonna watch the replay here. I think it was correct to, for me to take the drum for sure. So we drew the push, which is good for us. 
Yeah, knowing that they have the foundry, like we have them needle already. I could have destroyed, destroy, or destroy this and then destroy the drum being back on land. I cause I also kinda wanna destroy the A2. Maybe I was just supposed to let them draw a card. Cause we are like, we also wanted to draw a land too. Cause here, I, the reason why I didn't Rathoon come is I wanted to destroy the aid. And I wanted to get a Bob down. I think my line was still right here. It just sucks that they drew the hammer this turn. Cause they drew the hammer and an attack and I block with Bob. But like maybe if they have that, maybe the aid isn't as scary because of the fact that we have this trap breaker in play. So maybe that's the wrong thought process. Like maybe we are just supposed to attack their mana. Yeah, so maybe maybe it was incorrect for me to value the aid so highly and save the command for it. And maybe I th I think think about it now. I think cost. I think you're right. I think attacking with the trap breaker. Destroying the Sentinel, and then destroying the drum bringing back a land, and then we can hit a land drop there, is also fine. And we could like play Needle on this turn, and like, yeah, I, I think I think I, I think my opinion was changed about that line. It cost. I think you were right. So thank you for pointing that out. If they get a couple of this, we can run them over with the trample. What are you talking about, Chase of the Face? I mean, I know it's not infinite, but them just like... I guess they don't even have this, the, um, the sword either. So like, we're not even like scared of... Like, we shouldn't even be that scared of it. Because like, they're also stuck on mana too. More reason to not be scared of the Thopter Foundry. Yeah, so my, my line was just incorrect. For sure. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we we kind of were banking on them just whiffing on one more land, and maybe that was just a greedy, greedy play. I still think it's important to to take the drum out, but then that's what Costa's line accomplishes, right? It does also take out the drum and just hits give us our land drop too for that turn. And like, who knows? Maybe we could like getting Luris earlier, right? We don't know. I think we're gonna um. Save the bobble actually here. I think we're gonna go sentinel bobble off all the shrine and then pass. And the next turn we can bobble trick. Cause like we see Yorion, but we really don't know what we um wanna wanna like fetch away. And I still I and I think it's worth um like even if we draw a two drop, we can like bobble trick ourselves and then go from there. I guess if we draw Tarmogoy if that line doesn't work, but If it's Yorion, maybe it's like a 4C good stuff deck, and then we hope to draw like Ren and Six, or take a Thoughts, uh, take the Ren and Six with the Thoughtsies. We'll see. Interesting. So it's probably a good stuff deck. Saga seems good. Fury, Solitude, Teferi. Guess we just take the Fury. This Fatal Push kind of doesn't do anything, fortunately. Maybe there's an argument for keeping the fetch land in. Um, I 
probably a prismatic ending here. So maybe I should have taken that iteration, but like the Fury is just so good. It prevents us from like playing a Dark Confident if we draw it this turn. Good try um in case we draw like a Tarmogoyf. I wish we drew the saga earlier. I guess we'll put Laris in hand. They get to the fairy here, which is annoying, but we can't like not play the saga. We gotta kind of force them to do this. So the Topo Orbs look pretty good here. One up teeth. They don't have a white card in their hand that we know about though, that's a thing. So this Lurus might be able to get through to the Teferi. Damn it. These two pushers are just so bad too. Or a mana short. I think we utilize Saga as much as we can. Make a Shadow Spear. These pushes suck. <laughs> These pushes suck. We know this Windsor Piece is still in hand. This is from the Expressive Iteration. So they could hold up Solitude next turn, which is kind of disgusting. I just want at best I'm training things and they drew a card. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I regret, regret not having the fetch. I regret not having the fetch. Then again, like if we make a construct, pick another construct, they might just uh, solitude too. God damn it. So we kind of awkward. Thoughts is. Okay, the pitch is a very interesting. Don't think I'm that tied to my construct token. Interesting. So those again, those top orbs seem really good. <laughs> those board. This matchup is really, really bad, but hopefully the top orbs help. 
This is the reason why I have two in the board. Another Omnath? Jesus Christ. And we have two pushes for it, so I think we have to take the Solitude here. We could play Bob here, too. Hmm. Bob doesn't stabilize, though. He takes seven. I think we have to play Goyf here. Oh, they have Ephemerate. What am I doing? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, I just, I'm just so bad at this game. Can't even like push to. We just like let it go. Unfortunate, yeah. <laughs> yeah, getting revolt. Ah. I don't think we would have won this game anyway, regardless. Like, the way this, this game is going. Yeah, let's just... We, we, <laughs> even if I didn't just, like, not do anything, like, I don't think that would have... <laughs> that would have not done anything. Torpor or Pithing Needle, Vindicate, Track. Link Souls maybe. Hole maybe answers. Ren and Six, that's about it. We're out the spell bomb. It only answers Ren and Six. Like, how many answers of Ren and Six do we want? Because I guess this kind of counts. Do we just trim the Sentinels? I think so. They're just like Fury heavy. Like maybe we just want to keep all of them. Like we can actually answer an Omnath with this Prismatic ending, which is not nothing. Let's just take out the hole. Let's try this. That feels bad. I mean, I, again, I think we would have lost regardless, so it doesn't feel as bad. Like, it wasn't like... I feel like we would have lost the game even if I just didn't play into it, too, so... That's it. It's between a push or a hole, for sure, Costa. You're right. I agree with you. Bobble Trick, Thoughtseize, Tomagoyf. Can't complain about this. The only way we can beat this is openers if we have a... Uh, a top orb on the top of the deck. Should I figure out if it's okay to get a basic swamp here? I think so. Doink. Damn it. Oh my gosh, stop drawing lands, please, deck. Stop drawing dead things. All these dead things. Maybe there's a line to take the solitude. Just because it's gonna go long, they can just two for one us. Or just, yeah, it's just essentially two for one us, right, so. Oh my god. That's just so deflating. Cause we need we need to keep answers for Omnath. Sure.
Well, luckily they drew that <laughs> then. I'm gonna keep the bobble in case we need to um in case we want to uh keep it for the construct. If they don't answer our lures here then we'll crack it obviously. And then we can bring it back. Lightning bolt. So our Alluris is not long for the world. Wow, that's that's a lot of heaters. That's a lot of heaters. I'll bring Bobble back. I guess we have to Torak first. Because if we Torp Orb, then we get no value off the Torak. Interesting. Oh, they drew the bolt too. So I can bolt the lures here. Okay, so they have double solitude in play. The secret seems so awkward. Because I can, like, Saga, and then, um... But then they can Solitude. I think it's still worth keeping the Bobble here. I guess I get Shadow Spear. So I'm going to attack Torak and then Torp War post combat. If they have ephemerate, we can push the response. Hopefully they don't have spreading seas and then the saga can start taking over the game. This this drag's also beating kind of fast too. Oh, that's brutal. Hmm. Well, we have a lot of ways to trigger revolt here. 
think we're in an okay spot. Yeah, that's true. Ran in six. Sure. So they're short on lands here. Bisty. So we'll push now. Does it get around from right? But, ooh, push here. So we potentially have lethal here. Hmm. Do we just <laughs> needle a Misty? I don't think that's, that's too cute. I think we can needle to Fairy. That's also a line too. Needle doesn't really do anything otherwise. We also just stay Bren. Maybe all the other lines are too cute. Cool. Okay. Do we want three pushes still? And we know it answers Quaddle too. Is like push better than hole? Like, Hole literally only answers Red and Six. The so Spreading Sea sees is like our saga that dies anyway. The fact that we saw Quaddle makes me like push more. Uh, hopefully they don't have Vela Summer, plus Ren and Six. <laughs> That'd be really bad. Low into five. I'm surprised this deck doesn't mulligan more often. I feel like every time we play against this deck, they never mulligan. Like a four-color deck, 80-card deck, too. With a bunch of, like, clunky five drops and stuff, it's like... Again, I'm just, like, surprised. They have a less summer, they have a less summer. They don't. I think we take the C's. We can also just take the pending. And if they don't draw anything, we can play Bob. I like that, actually. Nice. 
no white card for Solitude either. No white card. Damn it. I mean, we also just vindicate their land. <laughs> Who's the pawns the deck here, huh? <laughs> oh mercy. Save the fetch for the green source, so thought sees. Oh, nah. They're just so far off casting it. I think we just take the seas. We have all the mana available, right? Do we just take the quaddle here? I think we take the Omnath actually, because like if they draw Fury or Solitude, I don't want my um Lyris to be unmolested. It's worth taking it, but... Oh, lucky. Thoughts is. I think we'll take that. Not gonna. We'd like to not draw lands though, that'd be great. Case in point. I think we'll save the Kai's guy though. Like this actually doesn't really do anything here. I guess we I guess we just take the qual as just one less Trump Alker. Oh my god, what are we drawing here? Why? Sure. Huh. I think we don't Kyoskala here. Oh my god, what is happening? Void Walker, sure. I 
Well, rest assuredly, we did draw a blank. Yorion. So what Kai's got here? Actually, I wonder if we do. Play something. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Torp Orb does something, but it might be too late. One, two, one, two, three, four, f one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh Well you're kinda of hoping they tap out for the Jorion. Really hoping that they tap out for the Jorion. Gotta just do this, just to bait him. Please cast Yorion. Just just cast Yorion, that's fine. It's not Fury. So we could put uh, Shadow Spear on the Void Walker. That sucks. We'll do this. Don't forget to do that. Oh, really? I'm going to have to check back the replay, though. I'll look back at the replay, Costa. I guess we could bobble them too. It's free. Red and six. If they had the prismatic ending, I feel like they would have cast it anyway. That doesn't do anything. 
Oh my god, what a stressful match. Okay. Let me go back to your line, Costa. I go to the. I feel like this is gonna be a little more faster. Go into my actual replay. God damn. <laughs> That was a, again, that was a stressful ass match. Um, further here. Turn this off. I don't want to hear my voice. Here? Let me move this over. Oh, God damn it. So the Yorion, you're saying... Sack after Yorin trigger and we trample. Oh, you're right. Then this, then this, the quad goes away. Well, the reason why I did that was I wanted to um, have one less draw for them to draw Solitude or Fury. I guess at that point it doesn't really matter because they could Fury anyway here. So they, if they Yorion on the stack, they exile the Quaddle. Quaddle goes away. Uh, we Kaya's got here. Oh, I see what you're saying. The Quaddle comes back here. We have three, six, seven, eight plus just out of spear. Yeah, you're right. Well. Th no, no, I'm saying they they could have cast Fury on this turn on on their main phase. Like when the, the turn they cast Yorin, they cast your Oh, but they come into the end of turn. You're right. You're right. Yeah, but if if they already have Solitude, they'd probably want to cast a Solitude anyway because of the Luris. But they would have done it anyway. Yeah. So Costa, you're right. You you. I should have. That was a line I should have taken. I should have. Made them stack the Yorion. And then, um, like, I should have done it here, like, after the exile ability. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Thanks for pointing that out. I, t I totally missed that. Thank you so much. Costa, you've been pointing out a lot of good lines, so we really appreciate you having you in the chat. Really, really appreciate it. This, this is kind of one of the main, you know, pros of streaming, right? Like, a lot of people, when they play Magic, they play and then they um lose and they get mad i won't like like oh like this deck sucks or magic sucks or blah 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 but like in reality like there's so many lines you can take and um like more often than not you're like missing stuff and i miss that right and it's not to say i'm like a good like a great magic player or anything but like i feel like the average magic player probably misses you know, the same amount of things as, you know, I do, right? Like, if, let's just say the average person makes one or two less mistakes than me. That's still, you know, <laughs> like a ton of mistakes that potentially being omitted, right? Um, but again, we got another four one, so that felt fantastic. Um, the damp one of damping spirit can clutch against Tron. The two Torpors were great against, you know, this Omnath Pal, which is arguably a very, very bad matchup. Um, the Torax were great. The Online Liberator were potentially good. Um, I definitely potentially messed up the game against Hammer um, with the Liberator, but still, this card is great, right? Uh, the Brutality is just a little iffy. Uh, just depends on if there's still a lot of burn. Um, if burn is uh, on the decline, then I could see these two brutalities be something else. Maybe keep one brutality and have the second brutality be... Just depends on the meta, and I don't really know where the meta is going. I noticed there is a lot of Grixis sh Death Shadow, uh, but I think our main deck with a couple of Cyber Editions with Lingering Souls, you know, the Soul Gun Lantern Explosives, like, I think the matchup is favorable. Um... So I feel comfortable like not changing the sideboard or anything if Grixis the Shadows is uptick, and that's really the only other deck that I've really seen an uptick in. Um, 
so it's kind of hard to really elaborate. I feel like, and that's good. That's kind of a good problem to have if you have extra sideboard slots, especially in a mid range deck like ours, we really have to adapt to the meta. Um, but like, that's kind of something that I think I would keep in mind. Maybe this brutality needs to be something else, uh, because there is a lot of less burn, uh, a lot less control as well. So if you're averaging better than 30, I think you're making better decisions. <laughs> I mean, yes, no. I mean, it's still good to, you know, see things that, um, like have people point out things that I miss, right? Like no one's going to be perfect. You're going to be missing things and just lines like that. Um, I think just playing abs and for so long, I'm just so preoccupied with like what to play around, um, you know, establishing a, a board presence, keeping the board clear against aggro decks. Like I get so ton of vision on that. And sometimes I just like kind of lose sight of just how do I win the game? Like kind of win the game that turn. And I think that's just something I need to improve on. And that's, you know, that's, um, every player has their strengths and weaknesses. And that's one of my biggest, biggest weaknesses. And I'm obviously trying to work on that. And there's, I've, I've watched my past streams where I kind of like look back and see what else I could do in these games. And, you know, there's times where I'm just like, oh, I miss lethal. And it's like missing lethal is just, you know, it's that's that's a thing, right? Like that's a, you're giving your opponent another turn, another out. And that's so detrimental in a deck like this. Um, and not that not to point out that like the only things that are worth pointing out are missing lethal. Like there's obviously other other lines that are definitely worth pointing out. Right. Um, so just, you know, pointing out plays that are arguably better or worse it's still nice to talk about and that's why i always i that's my favorite part about streaming is just talking about lines people you know going over what they think might be the better play and you know talking about thinking it through and you know today costa point out two lines that i think were great lines that i just missed and potentially like i could have trophied if i had taken that line against the hammer deck it was a game two right so it wasn't like um like oh i still needed to win game three it wasn't like i threw the match or anything but like that's you know it takes one win to string another win together and that's how you you know the difference between seven and two and second three is a top eight right the difference between eight and one and seven and two is potentially top eight and breakers um that's how you improve as a player uh so that's the, again like i really appreciate everyone for tuning in in the stream and you know pointing out lines that that's how i get better personally as a magic player so um appreciate everyone for tuning in um and hanging out uh but especially the cost because the two lines that cost that they put out were <laughs> really good then there's the fact that i'm not the one playing so i see the weird and tales on lines i i'm in the same boat as you like i, I it's, it's a lot different like when you're playing managing a stream making sure everything's still working um talking to chat <laughs> my, do my dog is also like half off the bed distracting me too a lot of things going on when you're playing right so if, like maybe i would have seen the line um if i was you know playing in paper i'm more hyper focused um but regardless, it's still good to point it out, right? And it's a discussion. That's what Twist Chat is for, right? Another Void Walker. I don't know if we want two more than two. I really like the three Dark Confidants. I don't know if there's room for a third. I definitely could see that if we wanted like a 61st card, it definitely could be a third Void Walker. But I really like this split right here. I, I, I think this main is almost not untouchable. This portable hole has been something that I've been testing, and it's been very, 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 very good. Um... This is really the only card I'm like maybe considering, and like the Vulcan came is already solid. The Decay is also very very solid too. Um, so, how's it going, Electric Bob? Yeah, I'm about to send you all over on a raid. But congratulations on your five zero, buddy. Um, your build of black green uh, saga was really really cool. And the cyber, oh maybe like over this over the second brutality, I I can see that too. I think that's a a worthwhile inclusion against like Tron or like scales, Yawgmoth, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, with Lincoln Mystic, yeah, I'm looking forward to, um, having your list posted because it's, it's, it's pretty sick. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate you tuning in and hanging out. If you want to support the channel, hit that follow button. If you want to check my past streams, go to my YouTube. Uh, if you want to get stream updates, you can follow me on Twitter. Although I did forget to update Twitter today. I was kind of out of it. It was a long day just cleaning my old place, moving to this new place. Uh, if you want to check out the Discord, Electric Bob is in there, Electric Bob 31 And they posted a uh, a sweet um, Black Rain Saga list. Ele Electric Bob, if you have the list handy, I guess maybe not because it's not live, but um if you go into the black i think you posted the black green channel 
Um, Electro Bob just trophied with a uh, sweet rock saga deck with four reclaimers, I believe. Um, it had, I think, I think it had at least three Withered Bloom commands or something. Three or four. It's really cool. So um, it'll probably get posted on Tuesday. Um, or did you play it on Friday? I don't remember if you had it. Uh, I don't know when. You, I don't know if it got posted or not, right? I don't remember when you posted it or when you posted in the Discord or when you actually got the trophy. But it, worst case scenario, it's either coming on Tuesday or it might have been already posted on Friday. Today? Okay, yeah, so it'll be posted on Tuesday. So, sorry, my, my lack of time and just everything has just been so discombobulated. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so either, either whether it's yesterday or today it would be posted on, on Tuesday. So, uh, you, you can check out the Discord and that's where the list is that he, uh, that they uh, generously posted, which is kind of sweet to see insights before the lists go live. Um, but again, that would do it for me. I really appreciate everyone tuning in and hanging out. Let's send, uh, I know this is Legacy, uh, but I was going to stream Evan, but it looks like he's about to go offline. I checked his um, stream, and he was uh, streaming with Spider Space, but it doesn't look like they're alive anymore. So Mr. Lee is a cool guy we met on Twitter, um, so let's send him some love. Um, shoot him a follow, playing some Legacy, like I said. So appreciate everyone tuning in and hanging out. Um, my next stream will be Tuesday evening, my usual stream time after work. Um, actually, I might stream in the afternoon because I have this like this week and the rest of the week next week off. Um, so I think it might be actually in the afternoon. So then in the evening, I can hang out with the fiance after she gets off work. So I might shift my stream schedule for the next couple weeks. Um, but I'll for sure post when I go live on Twitter on Tuesday. But again, really appreciate you returning and hanging out. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to Misplaced Ginger who sent over a huge raid earlier. Um, and then we had a hype train. Um, so like Grius, Ixitheris, Lonely Isotope, Last God, a bunch of resubs and biddies earlier. So I appreciate it. So again, if you want to support the channel, hit the follow button on all the various Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, Join the Discord, etc., etc. And I hope to catch everyone Tuesday. Take care.